Let's have a look at the next widget and I would, yeah, this is a widget. I wanted to say it's a feature, but rather it's a widget. Let's not get too technical here. Let's just go and have a look at what the unfold widget can do for you today. Into Elementor we go. And of course, if you want to follow along, you need to have installed Jet Elements from CrocoBlox. So make sure you get that. If you don't have it yet, just have a look at the video and see what all these widgets have to offer for you as an Elementor user. The Unfold. Where am I going to find that? So you scroll down all the way here on the left in the Elementor editor until you see Jet Elements and then you drag in here, gun down, 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 down here. Unfold. You can drag it and drop it. And the unfold is more or less exactly what it says it will do, but you're not going to see it in this wide view. So let's make it a little bit smaller. We do it like that and I'm going to copy and then paste. Now, let me show you what the unfold does. Let's remove this section. If I click on this button, it opens up and it shows me more text. This is very, very useful, very nice for hiding things. If you have like long testimonials from people, you can add the basic stuff here and then the whole story over here, especially team members. I would say very good idea for a team member that you can have it here. In fact, while I'm saying that, it gives me a good idea. The first thing I want to talk about is the content. We go to the left and of course this is the content that goes inside. When I started playing around with it, I wanted to give it a heading and I wanted to give it a subtitle. So I started going in here and I did this. Let's call it a heading one and then subtitle. And then I did the normal stuff here. I started styling it like, oh, let's make it a heading three rather. And then this one, I gave it here like a heading five. Uh, this was the original thing I did. So when I open it like this, I would not recommend you do this. I will instead recommend you do the following. That instead of bringing your headings and subtitles in here, go and grab a he heading and add it as a separate element up here. And if you want a subtitle, do the same, bringing it there. So for example, you can say here, Josh Groban, he gave us some uh, testimonial here, expert in-house expert and then you can start styling these let's make this one again at h5 and we make this one at h3 and now it will be much easier you know to control it and not let these guys interfere with what you want to show here and that is why i just said while i was speaking now i suddenly got an idea let me just drag it in here and i'm going to look for team member and drag that up there. So now you can bring in an image. Or, oh, well, let's not do that. I don't think I have a team member image at this moment. Let's see. Ah, this guy looks like a team member. Are you a team player? I guess he's John Borthwick. He just became John Borthwick. So you drag that in and John Borthwick is here. And then here you can have like a personal motto, his life vision, and then show more. You don't want to bore people with all the details. So off the bat, that's what I suddenly thought a very good idea, how you can use the show more. And you can see there's a lot of application with this show more functionality. Let's go back to Josh Groban over here and click on our unfold. First thing is that how much of the text is displayed? Currently it's set at 50. I'm going to type in 100 and then it will display at least two more lines. You can see. So that is what you're going to have there. The duration here is how long it takes to open, how long it takes to close. So to unfold is 500 milliseconds, half a second timing. Here we go. Half a second, precisely. And then for fold within 300 milliseconds, which is three out of 10 seconds. Yeah, uh, that is for closing it. Okay, unfold. And then here our easing again, let's see what, let's put it on back and see how that will affect. Uh -huh. Unfold, let's use another one, expo. I don't often see the changes. They are so small, but I can see there is a different way in how it approaches that. So this is how the the curve of the easing in and out will work. The content we already discussed and then the button down here, it's your basic button and you can have your text here for your fold and your unfold. 
What I like to do for my styling, especially with the button, is something like this. The first thing I'm going to left align it, and then my background color, I'm going to reduce that, take it totally out. And then for my text color, let's bring in that color, something like that. And I also want to make my topography a little bit more, where are we now? I'm gonna go for Montserrat. And I'm even going to change the weight to around 300, make it very thin like that. And then I want to bring it even more to this side. So for the margin on the left, I have not found a way to flush align it straight to the left. So I'm bringing it like this. See, I like this. This looks good to me. Of course, we have to apply this color to Joss and his family as well. Text color. Let's make it the darker one. And for this one, we can make it this teal. Okay, also, I'm not going to play around with the fonts though. Um, so this is what this effect allows you to do. You can go ahead also and style the background, but the one feature I would like to point out to you is called the separator. And this one boggled me at the beginning, but then I figured it out. So I'm going to show you the wrong way or the rough way, just so you can understand what the separator is by giving it a background color first. Now you see there it is. There is something like this and then you can increase and decrease the height. Why on earth would you want to do this? Let me show you. You can apply a gradient and this is what you should be doing here. So go to gradient and then I think for this one you apply white. Let's just do it the other way around. Okay, white. And now I'm going to reduce the opacity. Do you see what I see? But this still doesn't look good and it doesn't really have any impact. So what you do for your second color, you also put it on white and you keep it at opaque. So 100% opacity. And now you have this kind of effect that the text fades in all the way from the top to the bottom. Right. And I like this, like I said, use this for something like text. Just be aware of the following, and that is that if you have an element here at the bottom, if we add something else here just quickly, um, like an image element over here, this will affect how your website opens and expands and decreases. So I say show more, everything jumps to this side and I hide it, it comes back to this again. So keeping things aligned would also be nice because once you have this and you hide it, Let's remove this one or let's just delete this. Oh, well, let's leave it like that. Nah, I say that, but then I don't do it. Right, so if we go and we duplicate the column, right, now you see you can add different lengths of texts in here. So if I take this one and I go click on it, why? I don't, there we go. Go to content and I'm just going to double the content here. All right, paste it. Now I've du doubled the content of this block. So if I open this one and I open this one, you will see this one is much longer. And this helps you to nicely align things by keeping it similar. I like things aligned and this is why I love this unfold feature. But follow my recommendation. Do not try and bring your things like your icons and your headings inside this content element here keep that as separate widgets at the top and you will have far less issues, especially if you go into responsive viewing for your mobile and tablets. Very nice feature, Unfold from Cocoa Blocks in Jet Elements.